one of my favorite records off this fantasy playlist. <clears throat> Fond memories of this song. Fantasy playlist, September 26, 1996. Uh, Gigi Ta, whoever you are at number 35, holding from number 35. Surely I put this song a lot higher than that eventually. But uh, remember getting off work from Books a Million and watching MTV late at night. They were still playing videos in 1996, late at night after midnight. And they played this video a good bit in their heavy rotation. Uh, sunny video. It's a nice video. Giggy Ta, whoever you are. Good. Feel good. Record. Makes you feel good. <laughs> whoever you are by Giggy Ta. Uh, Giggy Ta consisted of about two people. Uh, uh, well, starting off, Tony Jordan and Greg Kirsten. I gotta talk about Greg Kirsten in just a minute. Talk about a charm line. Talk about a massive talent, Greg Kirsten. I'll get into that in just a minute. They released their first album called Grand Opening in 1994. And Greg Kirsten played everything on this album. Bass, synthesizer, clavinet, whatever. The album which came out in 1994. The second album was Sacred Cow. That's where Whoever You Are came from. And when they came out with Sacred Cow in 1995-96, they added a drummer. His name was David Hahn. And uh, Whoever You Are was a pretty big hit on the alternative charts. Did not cross over on the pop charts, although it did cross over on my fancy playlist. Greg Kirsten, gosh, dog it. Boy, you talk about moving on to some bigger and better things. Who would have known in 1996, although he could play a lot of instruments. Greg Kirsten, who grew up in Los Angeles, he learned how to play the piano, and then he learned how to play the bass and the guitar. When he was 12 years old, he wrote a song called Crunchy. I believe it's called Crunchy Water. Let me see. Let me check my notes. Crunchy Water was a B-side to My Mother is a Space Cadet, which was done by his uh, fellow classmate, Dweezil Sapa. And that was back, gosh, I believe that was back in the 80s. My mother is a space cadet. Forgotten all about that one. But uh, later on, oh gosh, after Gigi Todd. Well, first off, he was in a group, he was in a duo called The Bird and the Bee. Had this uh, beautiful record that was called Again and Again. I used to play that record when I was a uh, volunteer DJ at the Capstone back in 2010. I used to love playing Again and Again. It was a lovely record. And, but uh, he's produced a lot of people stronger. Remember the song Stronger, I believe it's, yeah, Stronger by Ke Kelly Clarkson, co-written and produced by Greg Kirsten. That was in 2012. He's, he's worked with De he's worked with Lana Del Rey, uh, Katy Perry, Foster the People, and uh, he produced, he co-wrote and produced The Fear, which was an amazing record by Lily Allen. It was not a hit here in the States, but it was hit in England back in 2009. I threw that on a fancy playlist back in 2009, The Fear by Lily Allen. Fantastic record. He produced Burn by Illy Golding. He produced that record, Greg Kirsten. This is a grand, we're talking Grammy nominated territory here with this guy, Greg Kirsten. And I just found this out. I didn't know he produced Hello by Adele. He produced it. Number one hit by Adele last year. Produced by Greg Kirsten. And that's not all. He played everything on this album. Adele played a little bit of drums, but Greg Kirsten on this record, he played bass, guitar, drum, piano, keyboard. This guy was just, he was a multi-instrumentalist. You just got to look at somebody like that and say, my goodness. Part talent, part charm life, part being in the right place at the right time. It happens. Great, but God, I adored this record going back to 1996. This was way before Greg Kirsten became big as a producer. I guess no one would have guessed. Giggy Ta, whoever you are, at number 35 on my fantasy playlist of October 26, 1996.